He wouldn't say, so will a judge force Casey Anthony's brother Lee to answer two key questions in the case against Casey? Good evening, I'm Jacqueline London. And I'm Mike Garofalo. They are questions many of us have asked, but Lee Anthony would not answer. But now a motion filed today in court would change that. Attorneys for the woman suing Casey Anthony are asking a judge to force Lee Anthony to answer two questions he didn't answer in last month's deposition. And now breaking news, a new motion just filed by Casey's attorney, Jose Baez. Mike DeForest is live now at the Orange County Courthouse with both developments. Mike, what can you tell us about this? Well, well Jackie, the uh, information we're about to share involving Lee Anthony is, uh, pertains to the civil case. Uh, within just the last 15 minutes, Casey Anthony's attorney, Jose Baez, filed a new motion in the criminal case against her, an emergency motion, and in it, he threatens to sue anyone who is involved with the possible videotaping of Casey and his client, K uh, he and Casey, meeting at the Orange County Jail, a meeting he says was also monitored by jail personnel. Now, as we've reported in the past, security cameras at the Orange County Jail captured Casey Anthony hyperventilating as she sat in outside of the medical unit at the jail, sitting in the waiting room when she learned that her little daughter body may have been found back in December. We are also learning that uh, a videotape from security cameras also shows Jose Baez and Casey crying together. We don't know if this was in the medical unit or some other part of the jail, but in this new motion just filed 15 minutes ago, Casey Anthony's attorney, Jose Baez, is basically ordering the judge to, con asking the judge to conduct an investigation into this matter because he says, first of all, he didn't know that these security tapes were going to be saved. He thought that they were going to be recorded it over and not used as part of Casey's criminal prosecution, but he is also saying that this conversation between himself and with Casey was monitored, illegally monitored. Obviously, such conversations would be confidential um, under the U.S. Constitution, but he is saying someone monitored a conversation between him and Casey. Now, he doesn't specifically allege that it was audio recorded, but he is saying that in some paperwork he has just received from prosecutors that a member of the jail staff was able to relay to detectives a conversation between him and Casey. And he says, since nobody was ever present when me and Casey were having a conversation, how could this jail personnel know about this conversation? That's all pertaining to the criminal case. Meanwhile, as you mentioned, Jackie, in the civil case, uh, the uh, plaintiffs representing Zenaida Gonzalez are demanding that Lee Anthony speak up some more. When you're going through these possibilities, and I know, I hate to ask it, but I have to, is one of the possibilities that has gone through your mind is that your sister was the one responsible for the disappearance? I'm going to object and certify that question. Are you, are you instructing him not to answer? Yeah, I'm instructing you not to answer that question. On the advice of his attorney, Lee Anthony refused to say whether he thought Casey had either accidentally or intentionally killed her daughter. But attorneys representing Zenaida Gonzalez say there is no legal reason why Lee could not have answered that question during his deposition two weeks ago. So now Zenaida's attorneys are asking a judge to force Lee to respond. They believe his answers could be used to show that Zenaida had nothing to do with Kaylee's murder, which is the point of their lawsuit against Casey. Zenaida's attorney also wants Lee to answer a question involving the mysterious identity of Kaylee's dad. Do you know who the father of uh, Kaylee? I do not Objection know with 100 percent. Certify. Don't, you don't have to answer that question. Okay. And for the basis? The basis is it's irrelevant to, this, to the defamation suit. Well, the relevance would be you know, could that person have had something to do with the disappearance? So will Lee Anthony be forced to answer those two questions? Well, ultimately, it will be up to the judge in the civil case to decide. Zenaida Gonzalez is seeking more than $15,000 in damages. Reporting live outside the Orange County Courthouse, Mike DeForest, Local 6. And Casey Anthony will be in court tomorrow afternoon as her family tries to block the release of her father's suicide note. George and Cindy Anthony's attorney says the letter has nothing to do with Casey's murder case and yet contains personal information that could embarrass the family. They're hoping a judge will prevent that letter from being made public. The hearing is scheduled for 3.30 tomorrow afternoon. You will be able to watch it live on Local 6 and at Click or Link.